Okay. Um, so now we should have two new partitions, which is from uh, one in the first hard drive and one in the second hard drive. And once we do that, we go all the way up to configure software RAID. So we go ahead and say yes again. Okay, and then we choose create MD device. And we choose RAID 0 again. And uh, we choose the two partitions that we just created for the swap. So we select both of them and go to continue. And go ahead and uh, go to finish. And you will notice that we have a new RAID drive for our swap. See how we have a uh, device number one now. Actually, it is not configured to be swap yet, so we're gonna have to um, go to the to that drive and set it up to be swap. So we go to use as. and we choose swap area once you do that go to done setting up the partition so now we have two RAID drives here we have an 8 gigabyte drive for our um, root directory and we have a uh, 800 and and five megabytes for our swap. Now you will need a new partition and this is not going to be a RAID partition so you will have to put it in only one of the drives that you have and um, it's going to be the boot partition. So um, since, uh, since Grub cannot, does not have the drivers to see swap, uh, I mean to see the RAID uh, array it will not be able you will not be able to boot if you put um, the boot in both of those um, drives so we're gonna go to the first drive we go to our free space and I'm gonna create a new partition and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and use the rest of um, the unused space go to continue primary And um, in here, I'm going to choose EXT4. Once you do that, you go to your mount point and you choose boot. After you're, you're done doing that, go to done setting up the partition. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, now we're ready to install our uh, Ubuntu. So we go all the way down to finish partitioning and right change it to, to disk. Once you do that, you choose yes. and it should um, start the installation process okay since this is going to take a while I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and um, come back when it's done okay so uh, Ubuntu finished installing and I've booted to uh, to my new RAID setup. Um, as you can see, I've done this on a virtual machine, but it's the same process. Um, uh, it's the same process doing this on a regular machine. Now, if you want to go to system, 
and administration and system monitor in your file systems um, tab you will see the RAID devices we created we created a root directory and uh, and a boot directory and we also created some swap which will not be visible here but uh, other than that uh, your system is ready now and uh, you're running on RAID um, now RAID 0 will give you a much faster performance when it comes to read and write from uh, the hard drive okay that's it uh, thanks for watching